Okay, family, uh, welcome to another valuable video over here. By the end of this video, you are going to have something like this on your chart, similar, in fact, or the exact same if you follow my steps. We are coding together, and it's a new sector that I'm opening up on the channel to really open up a new world into the trading industry. Uh, some of you guys, this is a total shock, but this is going to help you to really code your own indicator sort of on the market that does not print just like as you see right now. So let's go together. Let's understand what I did over here and we're gonna do it together. I will put the resources down in the description of this channel. So do make sure you subscribe to really get the full length of whatever that you're seeing over here. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's, let us code together. In fact, just before we do that, just to understand guys, um, Trading view uses a language called PineScript, quite very similar to Python for those of you who are, who are already in coding. And definitely I just wanna show you that right now. But before that, I wanna show you what the strategy does. You can also put this on ChatGPT. It will sort of almost get it right, but we have to do our own tricks on our side. But yeah, let's just get it. The main idea behind the calculation of volatility, number one is that the indicator line increases as price goes above the Bollinger Bands. So this is coded based on the Bollinger Bands and the uh, uh, ART, okay? ART, it's based on that and that, that maths thereof. So we took just normal indicators and would have to always interpret or focused on a condition that it was met. And that condition when it was met, you would take a trade. Now, automating this and making the indicator just saves you time from seeing all of that mess on your chart. So I also write here that, okay, Bollinger Band division, um, um, it is set up as a default, but if uh, one is set up as a default, but if you want early signals, you can have to increase the amount and so forth. I don't wanna waste a lot of time with this. I just wanna show you, you can read this on your spare time, but just to understand it's coded exactly on the Bollinger Band and as well as the ETR filter that is activated on the default settings to just follow the trend from the distance of highs and lows um, and all of that. And of course, what I did there, when we follow the line of the direction, so we coded it to really give us a line or a direction slope, uh, which means prices above the Bollinger Band and of course, with just one standard, okay? When price, uh, when the follow line changes direction from the blue to the red, which means that price is below the Bollinger Band with one standard, okay? So I just want to show you quickly, this is the code that we wrote over here. I will show you now how to do it. So let's go into trading view. We don't wanna waste a lot of time over here. As you can see, I already have this. It's already saved within my file, but let me just delete it. Okay, it works on all pairs, guys. Mainly, you can just stick to the 15 minutes, five minutes, but most time frames, it is gonna work on. We didn't specify which time frame they're off. Okay, I'm gonna go here and say open. You can just say my script, okay? And you can, oh no, I need to actually open a new one over here. Let's go. Okay, new indicator, there we go. So there we go, and we can say yes. It will just write this for you just to show you. Can remove all of that. Now, you will paste what you see um, in the comment section or in the description. You will paste this code over here, quite coded on the basis of the, what I just wrote above here. I don't want to waste any further time just reading this, right? You can read it and understand it. Then you can put up uh, this code, but it's just for you to sort of introduce you to this. Now, after, you know, we can just paste that. So you can just, if you're on Windows, it's Control V and it pastes the whole entire thing like this. I'm sure if you're on, if you're on Mac, I think it's Command V and it will just paste as I, as I just did. And as you can see, I just wrote it in PineScript, but though it's quite similar, as you can see on my Notion, it writes, it does write it or pick it up as Python. So if you know Python, it will be easy for you to transition all the way to this. It does use a lot of mathematics, a lot of float, 
uh, values and so forth. Okay, so as you can see here, it will also use integers. Okay, and there you go. So the colors, um, so this is the colors that we got from ChatGPT and we did edit this document. Now, once you're done, you can click save. If there's any bugs before you save, it's gonna tell you where to correct. In this case, I just call it skill effects. It's picking up a skill effects because that's what the document is titled. You can change it over here, okay, to your own. Then you can just add, add to chart. Once you add to chart, and as you can see, this is how beautiful and how it looks on the chart, where it literally just shows you when the, um, the point that represents the Bollinger Band breaks below the market, it is going to give you sales. When the market breaks above the Bollinger Band indicator, in a way, it is going to give you buys. Now, you can customize this to your own colors. For example, we will do this, right, just to make sure this is according to the colors that we match according to our logo, okay? And something like this, guys. There we go. And now it looks just like this. It's beautiful. So if you want to be on the M15 or you want to be on the M um, H1 like this, but I prefer you trade it on the lower time frames, okay? So you shouldn't get late entries. And as you can see it here, if the market does break this and gives you now a follow line that is gray in this case, then it will be giving you a sell signal, okay? So yeah, you and I have just put, um, coded our first indicator. And you can go about this just using ChatGPT and it will help you along writing the right prompts with an indicator or a strategy that you're using. It can be so helpful that you do do it on uh, ChatGPT and you get something. You must know a little bit of coding uh, in terms of the Python or PineScript, the various platforms that you guys can lend this to really be more into this okay thank you so much guys for watching this video if you want further episodes about coating free indicators like this please do subscribe to this channel and also follow us uh in terms of just like and yeah we do have an instagram to follow us over there as well we'll post some valuable content related to this as well god bless you